Hello everyone, let me introduce myself. My name is Nino Tartariani. I'm from 5E of English Language Education. Now I would like to respond about the, our lecture's question about e-learning. Okay, we jump for the first question. For the first question is, what is online learning? Explain also synchronous and asynchronous learning. In my opinion, online learning is an education that takes place over to the internet, which is called e-learning. And the synchronous learning is a online learning that happens in the same time. For example, it's a Skype. And for the asynchronous learning is online learning that takes place that happen in different time. For example, uh, we studying on YouTube. Uh, we jump for the second question. The second question is, what are the basic features of an LMS? Please explain. The basic features of LMS is a uh, first announcement. Announcement is a uh, used to welcome students to the course in a conversation tone, briefly describe the course, direct students to read the syllabus, describe the course format and how the course is organized in LMS, divide a student to be uh, introduce yourself for you. And the second one is forum discussion. Forum discussion is used to set up the discussion forum, uh, trade for your online discussion. And the third one is syllabus. Syllabus is a basic course information. And the uh, fourth one is a uh, various lesson. Various lesson is teacher grade one or more lesson for each unit of the course. And the uh, next is a uh, resources. Resources is the link online material and upload file and the next is dropbox or assignment submission area this uh, feature is for assignment that requires student to submit papers or project create a dropbox for its assignments and the last is a blog wikis uh, and work groups uh, this feature is for activities that really on the use of collaborate tool, such as uh, like I said before, is blog, wikis, and work groups. Set up this space in the LMS. The next question is, uh, as an online course teacher, give an example of a good introduction writing for one topic meeting. Please explain. Okay. The good instruction is to make the student understand uh, understand the goal of the course that the teacher want. For, ex for example, good morning student, hope that all of you are doing fine. And this meeting, we will discuss about the cause and effect essay. Please read the material about the cause and effect essay, then do one cause and effect essay with three terms. Please submit your work in the submission form, then write down your opinion about your friend words in discussion forum regarding OCTA. And the next question is why online material must be attractive and what elements are needed? Please ex explain an example. Okay, why? Why online material must be attractive? Uh, online material must be attractive because the goal in online learning is to make students more active in learning. So if the material attractive, it makes the student more active to uh, participate in the online discussion. And what? What the element that needed in uh, the in the online learning is uh, the first is Timeline and well designed LMS. Second one is content uh, that is up to far. Uh, the third is taste and 
the lever method and the third one or the last is a uh, online test or quiz uh, okay and the example is the teacher make a good design in online learning it it will be make the student attractive when following the online learning and make the student more active to become the participate okay we jump to the next question please explain type of online learning activities and provide relevant technology to for the type okay the first one is class discussion class discussion uh, is the type of online learning is to facilitate student class particip participation in an online course the tool that used in this uh, type is discussion forum and the second one is journal writing journal writing is the variance in type of journal related to what the teacher uh, as guide emphasis and what the student prefers and the tool that used in this uh, journal writing is blog and the third one is share knowledge base the share knowledge base is the type is used for students when they want to share their knowledge or they get their knowledge uh, the tool that used in this type is a wiki why we use wikis because wikis is more flexible and the next is practice exercise in practice exercise there are two types of practice exercise the first one is a multiple choice uh, the third one uh, the second one is matching and the last is filling the blank and the tools that used in this type is uh, testing or quizzing and the next is project project is common use in giving online project or an online presentation or a research project paper and the last is receptive activities receptive activities have three activities the first one is teacher or student audio of visual presentation the second one is course reading and the third one is miscellaneous audios and videos and the tool that used in this type is a PDF, app podcast youtube google or presentation okay we jump for the next question is online discussion in one important element in e-learning sometimes it may not work well how does a teacher optimize discussion the first one is assign grade the teacher will can assign grade because assign grade for its discussion make their participate. If no grade are given, student may not participate. And the second one is post a good teacher. Post a good question. In my opinion, post a good question can increase curiosity of students. So. Uh, they will uh, participate in online discussion and if the uh, the the discussion is very low the participation is very low the teacher should be monitoring the discussion so the discussion will be increased and please the next question is please provide an example of a learning resource that can be used to engage learning in online learning. Uh, I take the one example is audio and video. Uh, because the learning resources can be used to engage learning learners in online learning because these resources, this audio and video is can make students participate in doing learning like uh, the teacher give an assignment to the student making a summary and then they recording their audio or video and then uh, upload it into a YouTube or platform another platform and the 
Next question is, can we give an example of effective assessment in English online teaching and learning? You can pick one or one or the integration of more than one language skill. The effective assessment. Uh, I choose here is writing skill throughout psychology. Um, in writing skill, the teacher can assess the student through group project. Uh, the teacher assess the group project as a whole uh, and then an online discussion is made in individual form uh, we um, based on the scoring rubric that we uh, we choose in in a discussion forum at the psychology and uh, Next question is, what are the basic elements to consider when building an on online course? Please explain. The first one is learning outcome. Learning outcome are the course of the process that creates and programs that following through the end day from my, from this. And the next is the online syllabus. The online syllabus is contains a very define course outline and through explanation of how the online course is organized and will operate and the third one is using the course outline to structure the online course and the fourth one is building the le lesson and section the next is please give an example of one online lesson in your class for one meeting uh, I think this is the last question uh, I already show you about the uh, uh, an example of my online lesson in my class. It is the table lesson. Uh, that we do in table lesson is the first. My student asks to the student uh, to uh, make a summary in groups uh, about the. Uh, some material that in the book and then we do we did summary in the in the group and one member of my group uh, will submit the words into the psychology and then uh, we discussing uh, about the material with another group uh, it is in form of individual form okay uh, that's all about the uh, about the my response. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.